He's not here. Why? What's happened? Oh, she was supposed to be home ages ago. And her son, Jerome. Jerome. This morning, she was here when I left for the library. Without her hat, her coat. Oh. Fast walking pace, they rely on surprise, mainly. I'm sorry? She's my mother. What can I say? I love her. Not a very good cook. I feel fine about it. If not for my mother's love life, I wouldn't be here, would I? No. Boyfriends? No, but the commitment. Uh, not that I could put a name to. Your circus is my family. Hello, Mr. Cicero. Good evening, Jerome. Did you find out who killed my mother? Me. Reg. Sure, that's absurd and, and offensive. <laughs> then his name was Sven Carlson. He died at sea. She never said. What are you talking about? He's right. I'm... She loved you very much. That's why she gave you a better father. <laughs> My mother was a cold-hearted whore who never loved anyone. Pathetic old creep like you. My father. Oh, I'll be damned. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Looks like the bitch got me with a zinger in the end. The mother's are. She just kept pushing. Be a drunken whore even, but don't be a nagging drunken whore. You know? Banging a clown is the next one! You know. <laughs> <laughs>
wants to be the boss? Ladies first. Hey, Greenwood. What's the secret to good comedy? Timing, courage, and who's the boss? I'm the boss. <laughs> I believe you are, Jerome. I believe you are. Origato, Sensei. I spy with my little eye something that is yellow. This was a very difficult decision for us. It was between you and a senior citizen bingo party. A little younger. Youth won the day. Sorry. Oh. Light him up! Yeah. Heard you were looking for us. What the hell? Are you? Hell, the first we rule the world. Blah blah blah. But we'll settle for some dead cops. And... Kidding. Yeah. Easy. Crazy. You can see I'm not crazy. Very soon, little man. You'll be nothing. No one. No. That is where you're wrong. We will leave a mark on the city. We will spread across it like a virus. Do you know why? There's... There's nothing more contagious than laughter. That was strangely pleasant. <laughs> you got me. My turn. <laughs> Hello, Gotham City. We're the Maniacs. And I'm Jerome, the shot caller of our little gang. He's here to spread the message of wisdom and hope. Some people have no manners. You're all prisoners. What you call sanity is just a prison in your mind that stops you from seeing that you're just tiny little cogs in a giant absurd machine. Wake up! Hi, Pops. Long time. No see. <laughs> I just went through town every spring right around my birthday. And there was this guy. Him and my mom used to drink and fornicate and beat the crap out of time. It was my ninth birthday. I was outside the trailer, and you were there. And you said, oh. It's my birthday, and my mom and the snake guy are beating me. This world doesn't care about you or anyone else to roam. Better to realize that now. You see, there's this guy, Dad. He believes in me. He thinks I'm going to be a star. Sorry you are. How you should have believed in me, how it's not too late to start again. New flash, Dad! It's too late. No. I'm pretty sure I do. Innocent at first glance, but Detective Gordon, you remember him, right? Don't feel 
Your message written in braille. Hey. Finally, the knockout gas used to disable the order lease. Because you see, Dan, this guy. Please, go find these letters. No, think. The blind old fool really loved his son. Well, there won't be a dry eye in the house. Then they will. Cops are dumb. There's nothing to eat in this dumb. Dad. But, hey, you're psychic. Do I kill? I'm sensing anger. Well, you know, magic. <laughs> ha! Ladies and gents, I am indeed the great Rudolfo. For my first act, I'll require a volunteer. Handsome gentlemen have a name. Is there a doctor in the house? For my next delusion. By the way, nobody here is getting out alive. <laughs> no, but not the point. Hey, let's talk about what I want. Excuse me. Hey, $47 million, a helicopter, obviously. The dry cleaning I left at Mr. Chang's. Be careful, the man is a crook. You got 10 minutes or I start killing people. Remember, this is being broadcast to every home in Gotham, so, you know. Don't want people to die. Bye. <laughs> I think that went well. Enough. Uh, I'm going to shoot you. In the face. If you need. Hold very still. <laughs> I can't look. Someone. <laughs> Well, clap! Hasn't been ten minutes. I think it's time for tonight's first official vic- Parents murdered in an alley and my favorite volunteer. You know I'm an orphan too, Bruce. Where are you hiding? They're brainy out here. <laughs> Seems like we got ourselves a pickle. What do you say, Brucey boy? Wanna boost our ratings? Huh? <laughs> I've said enough. I know, I know. This is not what we rehearsed. You said be Bunch of rain. Sorry. Yeah. It's still a little fuzzy. I know you, right? Dead. You and I. You're Jim Gordon's little uh, twin. How's it going between you and Jimbo? What happened? <laughs> I get why you don't. <laughs> Alive. I was about to kill Bruce Wayne. I suppose I didn't manage to galvan killed me, that juggier Judas. Well, I suppose I... Where is my face? Look at that. No charisma, no stage presence. He is a handsome fellow, huh? Oh, sorry! Didn't see ya! <laughs> this guy's hilarious! <laughs> Lie to me, right? Dwight. What could I possibly be mad about? Huh? Oh, buddy. What's well, a cut off ace between friends? <laughs> You'll see. Let's do it. Hi. Some of you may know I died. Uh oh. 
Leave it to dying to give you a whole new perspective on life. And I would like to share that with you. Do what you want. Kill who you want. Mm -hmm. And when morning comes, you too shall be reborn. <laughs> oh, and, uh, Troy. I don't forgive you for my face. My, <laughs> my. Look how big you've gotten. <laughs> Attitude. Teenagers, am I right? You. Give me. You know, I will never understand rich people's tastes. I keep it for sentimental reasons. Nice try. Oh, it's got some tougher than I figured. Anyway. Right. Sorry. The old neural's still a little al dente post-thaw. The reason I'm here is I'm gonna kill you. It's the last thing I remember wanting to do. It's been nagging at me since I woke up. The idea of slitting that pretty pink. When you took over the benefit. Always oh, nice to be appreciated. And you're just going to kill me here? It's kind of disappointing. What do you mean? Flair? Uh, style? I'm aware. I am the ruling elite. My company is the machine that keeps the cogs of Gotham running. Wow. Killing me should mean something. You're saying I need an audience? The Prince of Gotham deserves a public death, his butler. What do you say, Bruce? I wanna have some fun before the main event. I'm gonna be honest, Bruce. You don't make the world's funniest clown. But we can fix that. Ah, shut up, you big. Let's turn that frown upside down. All they want is someone to tell them. Do it. Kill them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Oh, shush. Need to concentrate. What's the point? The point is that all these people out here, looting, robbing, killing, they're the people who wash your car, who pour your coffee, who take out your trash. True faces. And they showed how quickly they want to open up your rich boy veins and bathe in your... <laughs> the sheep who lock their doors and crawl under their bed. Face it, kid. Gotham has no heroes. Ooh, you're so boring, Bruce. Not much. All right. Enough dilly dally. To the main event. The party! Gather round. The show is about to begin! And I with a bang. Or better yet, a boom. Cuts. Very poetic. I like it. <laughs> Detective Gordon! You're just in time for the big. Wait. Come on out, boy. I won't hurt you. Bruce died. You ruined my show, Bruce. 
hiding is just gonna make things worse. I wanted you to follow me. We make a good team, you and me. You killed Alfred. Oh, rich kids this close with their butlers. It's about doing what's right. You wanna be a hero? Tell you what, buddy. I'll give you a fighting chance. Let's do this mano y mano. Come on. What kind of hero tackles someone from behind? That's it. What is it?